There are over 1700 different skins in CS2 as of the time of recording. Today, I'm going to give you guys 10 skins that you haven't seen before in CS2. I give you a Savimi guarantee that you haven't seen all of these before. Now, if you guys are new here, I am going to be giving away these Shadow Daggers Damascus Steel in minimal wear condition once we hit 1,500 subscribers here on my YouTube channel. All you have to do to enter is comment on this video, subscribe to my channel, and join my Discord server that will be linked down in the description below. Let's get started. Now, up first, we have the Baroque Sand on the Negev. I think think this thing is just absolutely beautiful. I love the colors. I love the tan. I love the dark purple kind of maroon-ish burgundy color paired with the light blue teal, the beautiful pattern on it. You might have heard of the Baroque purple on the AK, the Baroque orange on the Nova, but they also have the Baroque sand on the Gev. Now this is a gray skin, so you might not have ever seen this thing before. I promise you, you've never seen this in game, but I think it looks absolutely beautiful. This skin is a prime example of there being skins on underutilized weapons. So not just like your AK, your M4 skins, right? Your op skins, but skins on guns that are rarely used. And they're still beautiful pieces of art. Artists have spent many hours of their life working on these beautiful skins. And this right here is a grade A example. Up next, we have the Aug Aristocrat. I didn't know this thing existed, honest to God, until a couple minutes ago. This is such a beautiful Aug, in my opinion. Again, if you guys have seen my videos before, you know I love engraved textures on skins. The Aristocrat does a beautiful metallic navy blue paired with with some beautiful engravings which are actually raised off the blank navy blue canvas as you can see in the lighting the navy blue is metallic it reflects light it kind of has some sparkles that glisten through depending on the shade of lighting that's hitting it this thing is beautiful it gives me royal vibes it gives me night vibes like these engravings are off some some royal armor from like the kingdom's number one knight or something like that very cool skin very underrated i'm definitely going to be buying one of these later tonight i love this if you guys are interested in purchasing any of these skins please check out today's sponsor. SkinsMonkey is an instant way to get new CS2 skins and make your perfect inventory. First, deposit the skins you want to trade, then filter for the skins you want, last, hit trade, and the new skins will instantly be yours. SkinsMonkey is offering up to five free dollars on your first trade. The more you trade, the more you earn. If you're looking to buy skins for cheap, SkinsMonkey offers a 35% top-up bonus if you use code Savimi at checkout. Check out SkinsMonkey and build your perfect inventory. Up next, we have the P90 Coco Rampage. Big fan of this skin. I don't necessarily love the colors, I actually think the colors are very gross, I'm gonna be completely honest, but this skin has some very, very cool and very, very unique patterns. There's a ton of different types of dinosaurs that you have on there, Stegosaurus, tri Triceratops, we have some UFOs in the background right there, we have clouds, we have chocolate, we have cars made out of chocolate, a lot of stuff going on in this skin. As you can see on the pattern template right here, this skin is very in-depth. The, the artist who made this pattern took so much time and so much effort out of their life to make this beautifully complex pattern template. A very unique piece of art. I hope to one day make a P90 Coco pattern guide. That'd be kind of a goal I'd like to set for myself. If you guys would like to be part of that project, please leave a comment down below. I'd love to work with you guys. Up next, we have the SG553 Desert Blossom. Very unique artwork on this skin. This kind of default, kind of dried out desert biome texture is used on a couple other weapons, but never with this beautiful pink color. The pink on the tip of the weapon near the barrel, the pink on the side of the gun, the pink little blossoms, the cherry blossom flowers looks absolutely amazing. This, this maroon color coming through the cracked ground, I really enjoy. I like that it's just the default black on the scope stock, front of the weapon magazine and handle, paired with these beautiful vibrant tropical pink colors coming through on the actual skin. Very underutilized SG553 in my opinion. Pink is a super common inventory to go for and I've really never seen anybody talk about this thing. I think it's super underrated. The Desert Blossom is definitely a beautiful skin in my eyes. So you guys have probably heard of the clear polymer on the Glock but did you know that there's a Nova clear polymer as well? The Nova has some very beautiful skins if you actually take time to go look through them and I genuinely think that the clear polymer is better executed here on the Nova than it is on the Glock. I think the green fits much better here on the Nova than the blue and kind of beige color does on the Glock. I think the gray pairs beautifully with the clear. You can't really tell what's transparent and what's not about this skin. As you can see, it does kind of affect lighting. Not as much as you would hope. Maybe if the skin was made in CS2 using CS2's engine, it could be different. Nonetheless, a beautiful Nova, especially the spine down the back stock of the weapon there. 
Up next, we have the Gold Bismuth on the UMP. I really like this thing. I think the white, gold, and brown color on the bottom there looks so nicely together. Bismuth is a really cool element. I believe that's fool's gold. Correct me if I'm wrong down in the comment section. It looks exactly like gold. It has a golden color, except it takes this square kind of form. Very cool rock, honestly. I wish it was worth a little bit of money. And this skin, I want to get into some different lighting so you can kind of see the contrast of the colors here. Just looks really, really good. It's very sleek skin, in my opinion. Looks beautiful. I think it aged well into CS2. I think with the new metallic lighting on the golden aspects of the weapon, it looks even better. Very underrated ump. I know the ump isn't a fan favorite gun by any means, but if you're gonna go with an ump skin, pick this one up. Up next, we have the P90 Tiger Pit. Very, very underrated P90 in my opinion. One of the first skins that I saw for the first time and I was kind of taken aback by it. I believe it might not use the exact pattern that the Op Silk Tiger uses, but it definitely uses the same tigers. Very cool pattern-based skin, can get tons of different cool patterns on this thing. I'm surprised I don't see this thing in more orange inventories. I did talk about it in my orange inventory video, but to be completely honest, I found out about it probably that day and that's what inspired me to finally make the orange inventory video to be a little bit more unique. Moral of the story, if you are going for an orange inventory or if you want a P-Nanny that's definitely going to catch eyes, go with the Tiger Pit. Onto the 5.7, we have the Buddy. Now, everybody knows about the Tech 9 brother, but the 5.7 actually has a counterpart. It's called the Buddy. As you can see on the back, it has a little CT agent face right on the back of the gun there. Kind of moves, kind of gives you a little head bob, a little noggin once you're shooting the weapon. I genuinely don't like this skin. I think it's very ugly. I don't recommend buying this skin. But if you like gimmicky, goofy little skins like this, or you want to pair something with the Tech 9 Brother, right? Maybe you're a Tech 9 Brother enjoyer. You love that skin. You live and die by it. You want to complement that. You want to bring that same kind of energy over to the 5.7. Pick up the buddy. It's a goofy little skin. We are including a sawed off skin and we actually have the Serenity. We have a beautiful blonde woman with kind of angelic angel wings right there with a beautiful teal color. I think I included this in my teal inventory video. I'm not completely sure. Now you might be thinking, now you might've heard of the XM Tranquility, which is another beautiful skin, same type of vibe, a beautiful woman with red hair on the middle of the weapon with a beautiful red kind of pinkish salmon color finish on the skin. Now the Serenity is the sister to the Tranquility. You're gonna wanna have both. You cannot have one without the other. If you have a Tranquility, pick up Serenity and vice versa. Beautiful looking skin. My second favorite on the list. Now these skins aren't in any particular order. I just kind of included skins. I'm, I've been making this list for a little while and I've just kind of thrown a skin on as I found it. And I really, really enjoy the Serenity. Now you guys have probably heard of or at least seen either the Galil Sandstorm or the Tech 9 Sandstorm at some point in time in your Counter-Strike journey. Now those are spelt one word. Sandstorm, no space. Did you know? There's also an Og Sand Storm. There is a space in between here. Sand, space, storm. What a beautiful looking skin. The colors, the metallic finish. It almost looks like a galaxy, like the night sky. It's so unbelievably beautiful. This is by far my favorite skin on the list. You have a beautiful rock formation, a beautiful sun shining through the sand clouds, a storm just overtaking the scenery from the right hand side onward. Little left hand view for you guys here. Beautiful, beautiful skin. Now it is a purple from the 2021 Mirage collection so it is a trade-up skin for the fennec fox god bless the fennec fox but this is just another example of why the 2021 mirage collection is just absolutely goaded this is just one of the most beautiful skins i've ever seen i was truly taken aback by this i hope it gets some love soon if you guys made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I am going to be giving away the Shadow Daggers Damascus Steel in minimal wear condition once we hit 1,500 subscribers here on my YouTube channel. All you have to do to enter is subscribe, leave a comment on this video, and join my Discord server that will be linked down in the description below. I do all my giveaways there in the Discord server, so please make sure to join up. I will see you guys next time.